Welcome to Math Contest Drills for Filipino Kids. In this presentation, let us show the solution to MTOP 2024 Elimination Round for Grade 9 students. This is Part 2 of 5 Parts, Numbers 11 to 20. Number 11. Triangle ABC has sides 4, 6, A. And triangle XYZ has sides 24, 18, 12. Which theorem or postulate allows us to conclude that the two are similar? For our solution, let us arrange the lengths of the sides of the two triangle respectively or correspondingly. For triangle ABC, let AB be equal to 4. BC be equal to 6 and AC be equal to 8. Then for triangle XYZ, let XY be the shortest side, that is 12. YZ be equal to 18 and XZ be equal to 24. If triangle ABC is similar to triangle XYZ, then the ratio between corresponding sides AB over XY equals BC over YZ and AC over XZ. For the length of the sides, AB is 4 and XY is 12. If this is equal to BC over YZ, that is 6 over 18. Also, AC over XZ, A over 24. Notice that all ratios are equal to one third. Hence, Corresponding sides of the two triangles are proportional and the scale factor is one-third. Therefore, the two triangles are similar by SSS similarity postulate. Number 12. Find the value of sine 30 times tangent 45 times cosine 60. Here is our solution. 30 degrees, 45 degrees, and 60 degrees are special angles. Sine 30 is equal to 1 half. Tangent 45 is equal to 1. And cosine 60 is equal to 1 half. Hence, sine 30 times tangent 45 times cosine 60 is equal to 1 half times 1 times 1 half and this is equal to 1 fourth. Number 13. Find the value of cosine A in the figure. We know that cosine function of the angle is the ratio between the adjacent side and the hypotenuse of a right triangle. In the given triangle, angle A has adjacent side that is equal to 8 units and the hypotenuse of the given right triangle is 17. Therefore, cosine A is equal to 8 over 17. 14. Solve for x in the equation x minus 3 times x plus 2 equals negative 2 times x minus 3. For our solution, let us multiply the left-hand side of the equation and also use distributive property of multiplication in the right-hand side. So we have x minus 3 times x plus 2 equals negative 2 times x minus 3. In the left-hand side, we have x squared minus x minus 6 
On the right hand side, we have negative 2x plus 6. Now, this is a quadratic equation to solve for the value of x. Let us write in such a way that the right hand side is, is 0. Hence, we have x squared plus x minus 12 equals 0. By factoring, we have x plus 4 times x minus 3. Equating each factor to 0, we will get the values of x, which are negative 4 and positive 3. Number 15. Solve for x in the proportion 5 over x minus 1 equals 3 over x minus 2. For our solution, let us multiply both sides of the equation by the LCD, that is x minus 1, times x minus 2. So we have 5 over x minus 1 equals 3 over x minus 2. Then multiplying both sides by the product x minus 1 times x minus 2, we get 5 times x minus 2 x minus 1 over x minus 1 is equal to 1. And also, on the right-hand side, we have 3 times x minus 1. x minus 2 over x minus 2 is equal to 1. Then we have 5x minus 10. On the right-hand side, 3x minus 3. Applying addition property of equality, we will have 5x minus 3x equals 10 minus 3. So we have 2x is equal to 7. Therefore, x is equal to 7 over 2. Number 16. How many integers satisfy the inequality x squared minus x is less than or equal to 12? For our solution, let us translate the given inequality to a quadratic inequality. That is, x squared minus x minus 12 is less than or equal to 0. Factoring the quadratic expression on the left-hand side, we have x minus 4 times x plus 3, and this is less than or equal to 0. Then the solution to this given quadratic inequality are all values of x greater than or equal to negative 3, but less than or equal to 4. Hence, the integer solutions to the quadratic inequality is the set of integers from negative 3 2, positive 4. That is negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So we have 8 integer solution to the inequality. Number 17. Solve for x in 2x over 1 minus x equals 5 over x plus 1. For our solution, we may also use cross multiplication. Since we only have single fractions on both sides of the equality symbol. So we have 2x times x plus 1 equals 5 times 1 minus x. Then 2x squared plus 2x equals 5 minus 5x. This has resulted into a quadratic equation. So let us rewrite in such a way that the right hand side is 0. And let us solve the quadratic equation. 2x squared, 2x plus 5x, then that is 7x minus 5. The resulting quadratic equation is not factorable, so let us use the quadratic formula. x is equal to negative of the coefficient of x, that is negative 7 plus minus square root of 7 squared minus 4 
times the leading coefficient times the constant term all over 2 times the leading coefficient. So we have negative 7 plus minus 7 squared is 49. Negative 4 times 2 times negative 5 is 40. Then the square root of 89 over 4. 89 is not a perfect square number, nor it has a perfect square factor. Then final answer is negative 7 plus minus the square root of 89 all over 4. Number 18. Suppose that y varies jointly with x squared and inversely with z. y equals 96 when x equals 8 and z equals 4. Find the value of y if x equals z equals 2. For our solution, let us write the model of variation. y varies jointly or directly with x squared, that will be y is equal to k x squared, and inversely with z, where k is the constant of variation. Let us substitute y equals 96, x equals 8, and z equals 4 to get the value of k. So we have 96 equals k times 8 squared over 4. Then we have k is equal to 96 times 4 over 64, that is 8 squared. 4 over 64 is 1 over 16. 96 over 16 is equal to 6. Then k is equal to 6. Now let us find the value of y when x equals z equals 2 and k is equal to 6. y is equal to 6 times 2 squared over 2. This is equal to 3 times 4. Then y is equal to 12. Number 19. The roots of the quadratic equation y squared plus by plus c equals 0 are 3 and negative 2. What is the value of b plus c? For our suggested solution, if 3 and negative 2 are the roots of the quadratic equation, then negative b is equal to 3 plus negative 2 and c is equal to 3 times negative 2. Hence, we have b is equal to negative 1 and c is equal to negative 6. Therefore, b plus c is equal to negative 7. Number 20. What is the vertex of the parabola given by the equation y equals x squared plus 2x plus 3? For our solution, let us use the formula for finding the vertex hk of the parabola where h is equal to negative of b over 2a. In here, a is 1, the coefficient of the leading term, b is 2, the coefficient of the x term or the linear term, and c is the constant term. Substituting, we have negative of 2 over 2 times 1, then h is equal to negative 1. The y-coordinate of the parabola or the vertex of the parabola may be obtained by substituting h to all x's in the function. So we have k is equal to f of negative 1 and that is negative 1 squared 
plus 2 times negative 1 plus 3. This is equal to 1 minus 2 plus 3. This is equal to 2. Therefore, the vertex is at negative 1. That will be it. Please subscribe for more Math Contest Drills for Filipino Kids videos.